So what about um, meditation? Is that something you practice a lot? Is it important? Do you think that's important for one's spiritual development? I would say that meditation is the great, is the great panacea for all ills. Um, you know, we live in a world of stress. Mm. We live in a world of violence. We live in a world of negativity. You know, if you, if you, you know, I'm talking about in the majority um, and the system that it's work. It's all set up to make a person feel, um, basically, to enslave human beings oh. into debt and into into fear and into crisis. Um, the only way out of that is meditation. Um, what we find is that it, it operates on, on uh, three types of uh, brain waves, which is stress, which is known mm -hmm. as beta. Yeah. Um, then as we come down into meditation, it's alpha. And as we come deeper, it comes into theta. By reaching into these, or coming down and meditating into these deeper states, we're able to get away from the world, we're able to come out of the world, and into, into new ways of looking at things and how to handle things. The world leaves us. The negative world, the stressful world leaves us. Every now and again, yeah, it knocks on our door. And when it does, it's, uh, you know, we go deeper again. It's, mm -hmm. just, a, it's just telling us to keep going deeper. Um, but yes, meditation is the most powerful thing that we can, we can do for ourselves. Yeah, great. If people spend like 10 minutes a day meditating, we would have a very different world. It's, it's like it's scientifically proved that if you yeah. have one person meditating in a crime neighborhood, in a neighborhood that is, has a high crime rate, that crime rate will go down. Mm. Mm. Things will become more peaceful. Yeah. Mm. No, so it's, it's, it's very, very, very powerful. Very powerful mm. indeed. And all you need to do is 10, 15 minutes a day, maximum. Great. And what kind of meditations do you... Do you work with? Practice most of them, but uh, I would say with alpha meditations, working with alpha and theta meditation mm -hmm. is, the, is for me the most powerful. Because it stays away from, from um, anything that's associated with religion, like a Buddhist meditation or a Christian meditation, mm -hmm. a Sufi meditation, the Hindu meditation. I don't have anything against these things. I think they all have extreme great value mm -hmm. in, in the world. But we prefer, or should I say, I prefer to stay away from uh, anything that's associated with religion in that way. Okay. Otherwise, it's no longer a meditation, it becomes an indoctrination. Okay, great. And um, would you be able to give us a bit of uh, information on this alpha meditation? How does it work? Is it, is it a quite, you know, uh, in-depth me method or is it a quite simple method? How does it work? <laughs> Um, how do you know? How do you know you're meditating? You That's a really good you question. Don't, you don't know you're meditating. You just have to sit there, right? You have to sit there, count yourself down from three to one, slowly. Okay. Okay. Uh, the best thing is to relax the body. It's to always uh, visualize cr um, tranquil and passive scenes, because so okay. you can come into the passivity. And slowly come into meditation. But do you know that you're in meditation? Sometimes you can be really stressed out in a meditation. Mm. A lot of stuff that be coming up, and you can walk out of that meditation and say, mm, and, and feel well, nothing really happened. Okay. It was a, it was a, well, I didn't meditate. And then you find that those things that you've looked at have changed. Mm. And in the day, the people that you have seen that have been giving you stress in meditation, or the or the or the issues that have come up have suddenly changed. So there's no right way or wrong way in which to meditate. Okay, so it, it, uh, I always struggle with thinking, well, I used to, um, I guess, I, I, I've learned a bit from you, actually, but um, it's not right or wrong, is it? When there's you no meditate, right or wrong, no. You just, you just go with the flow. No, and it's this thing about life force, it's like, you know, you start off with one type of meditation, for but this is this is also about not getting stuck on things, and it will lead you into other things. As you you know, as you said earlier about doing Kundalini yoga and you know the different practices that you're in. You know, you, you start with one thing, and it will lead you to other mm. things. Yeah, it's all creative. Great. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense.